You've probably come across videos here on YouTube that talks about different types of diffusion filters. A diffusion filter is often used to create a glowy, dreamy haze on your images. It minimizes the blemishes on your subject's skin, and it sort of gives this aura around your subject. The problem with these are that if you're on a budget, it could get pretty pricey. And if there's no available filter size for your lens, you also gotta get step-up rings that will fit the diffusion filter that you got. Now there's a way for us to have the same look without actually getting a diffusion filter. So let me show you. First, let's start with a photograph. So open up your Photoshop or GIMP. I use GIMP simply because it is free and it had all the editing tools that I needed. So once your editing software is open, load a photo then hover at your Layers tab. Right click the Image layer and select Duplicate. Click the Duplicate layer and go to the top menu and select the following. So go Filter, Blur, then click Gaussian Blur. From here, the Gaussian Blur settings will pop up. Then set the blur between 15 to 25, then click OK. Now as you can see, the entire image is completely blurry but it's not finished yet. So now click the duplicate layer once again and change the opacity of the duplicate layer between 10 to 22%. Now you can see this haze around your subject and you didn't even get a diffusion filter. So there you go. You now have a dreamy image without a diffusion filter. For video, load your editing software, import a video, duplicate that video. Now from here, change the opacity of the duplicate to 25%, then add Gaussian Blur effect into the duplicate. Now how strong you want the effect, it's totally up to you. But if I were you, I would stick between 25 to 50% blur. Anything past 50%, well I'll give you 70, 75%. But anything past that and the video is completely blown out and it's not a good look. Here's a quick recap of the entire edit. That's it for today's video. I hope you learned something from this edit. Let me know in the comments down below if you tried this. Did it work for you? Did you prefer this edit for now? Or will you end up getting a diffusion filter in the future? Subscribe to my channel. Uh, we are almost at 1000 subscribers. I, I honestly can't believe I'm even close to that number. So for that, a massive thank you to all my subscribers. I will see you next week. Have a great weekend.